if that's really the road that you want to go down. But don't let it be because, oh, my family, they're going to look at me different. Oh, my friends, like me, my friends are today. Guess what? Those friendships and their relationships are not going to pay your bills. When them lights cut off, when your car run out of gas, nope. <laughs> They're not going to be the ones to help you. I'm sorry. Some of them might, might, but do it for yourself. Don't think about nobody else. That's just on the beat. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi i'm seeing and welcome to my channel and if you're new that means you're not subscribed so take a second look around if you're feeling the vibe of my channel make sure that you subscribe because it's lit over here but you do not have to i don't force you to do anything over here okay do what you want to do it's your life baby but for today's video i'm going to go ahead and get into my subscriber shout out no you do not have to be a subscriber to get this shout out all you have to do is comment something genuine on one of my videos and i will shout you out and get in my video you feel me for today's shout out i'm going to z i'm going to do this comment it is by i think it is it levy mom or leave i might be butchering it i'm so sorry if i am but she left the sweetest comment on my video she was like you play entirely too much but i definitely enjoy the vibes not like ordinary try on hauls she's talking about my bikini haul which i very much appreciate you know i'm trying to give y'all like the real me in my videos so oh yeah and i replied i was like i woke up with the most energy which most of the time if i sleep good at night and i wake up in the morning i have so much energy that i can't bottle it i just start like i'm i exhort all of my like that good energy out so i was just like you know girl i woke up with it that's up the energy but thank you, you feel me? so that is the comment shout out like i said if you would like to get one just comment something genuine on my videos so get jumping into this video today's video i'm going back to my only fans as you guys know i have i have an only fans right now it's five dollars to subscribe so if you're interested head on over there but yeah so i've been doing a few videos if you guys do not know my first video i ever did on only fans I did. I tried OnlyFans for a week, and this is how much money I made. I've done. I tried OnlyFans for a month, and this is how much I made. I wanted to do one for six months, but life just was going on. So, and then I also made a tips and tricks video. I also made a um, work with me vlog where I made content for OnlyFans. And today, I am going to be doing. I think it's eight. Eight things I wish I knew. You know before like really getting into OnlyFans. So if you guys still have not signed up for OnlyFans yet, my link is down below. If you would like to sign up through my link, I will personally help you. You get a free shout out and all if you sign up through my link. But if you already signed up and you didn't go through my link, I do promo. Promo on my actual OnlyFans page is $20. And then promo on like my social media is $10. So just throwing all that out before we get started. So I got everything written down in my handy dandy YouTube notebook, okay? So let's just go ahead and get started. Number one, one thing that I ain't gonna say I wish I knew. I already knew this, like going into it, but I'm telling y'all because a lot of people automatically assume opposite when it's not. But number one, it is easier to promote yourself than to pay for promo. And then I, I was like, come up under that and say that if you are promote i'll say promote for yourself for like a month maybe like two weeks two weeks three weeks maybe a month and if it's not going good then pay for promo but when promoting yourself i always say promote yourself because you have people that look at you like they're already on your social media people who follow you because they think you're pretty they think you're sexy they like your body shape they like they just like you so to be able to see you in another light knowing like that it's you is more like for them to subscribe because for me if i what is it Oh, I'm dead. What is that? Oh. Uh, anyway, for them, because they know for a fact that it's you. So, number one, I highly recommend you promote yourself. Get those people who want to see you regardless. Like, they've been waiting for you to do something like that all their life. Get them people. And then once, like, you get to a point where it's like a standstill, then I would say pay for promo. Make your money first and then 
invest in yourself that's just that's me like i said that's not something i wish i knew that's something that i did but i just feel like it's something that i feel like a lot of y'all should know when first getting into OnlyFans. and these are not in any order i probably should have ordered these but this is just eight things in general number two when first starting again this is something that i knew already i did this and it helped a lot when first starting i say post up there at least maybe two to three times a day for about a week or two just so that you can have content on your page when people come to subscribe because it's easier to get people to subscribe when you have something there for them to see versus they click on your your only fans page and you have two posts and that's it they don't want to two posts what are they gonna do with that and to be to piggyback off of that when you post like every picture yourself you should be the first person to like your pictures because that helps to build up your own your likes. So when people subscribe to your 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 OnlyFans, they get to see how many pictures you post, how many videos you posted, how many likes you have in general. And you can pick and choose if you want them to see how many fans you have or not. But I like to like my pictures because when you like them, it puts your likes up. So that way when somebody's like coming to subscribe, they're gonna see like, oh snap, she got 115 likes and got 10 pictures. So that means she must be posting some crazy, some crazy stuff. She been posting some crazy stuff up there. Let me subscribe and see. Curiosity always kills the cat. So if they can see they oh, you got three posts, but you got 100 likes. Or if you got three posts and you got 10 likes. Like, it just make sure that you're liking your content yourself as well to build up those likes. Number three, take quality pics and videos. That is something that I wish that I knew and also that I still need to work on. Because, it, I mean, it's hard to do stuff yourself, but it's not impossible. Every, people do it every day. So, number one, lights. I have ring lights. So, usually when I do content, that ring light is on. I'm using it right now for this video. I upgraded my phone. I used to have a... This is my old phone. This is what I used to use. I think this is an 8. 8 plus. But this did good, but now I have the 12. And it takes bomb quality pictures, videos, all that stuff. So, just up your quality lights. The stuff you're taking your phone on quality as in like your setup now i have clothes on my bed this is from a try on haul that i literally just was filming so number one if you're interested subscribe i believe this video is gonna come after this one i wouldn't do pictures and that's in the bed. like you kind of want to work on that some of my content it is like that because life just hits you and that's just what happens and some people do not care but if you want to up your only fans and kind of get it there quicker definitely quality pictures quality pictures for your page quality pictures for promo like when you promote yourself and also when you pay for promo you just want everything to be of quality okay number four this is for when you actually like this own only fans and you get into the, the gist of things do not post any uncensored content or any like if you do stuff like that triple x content on your like tl tl one thing i've always said to people if somebody's going to try and expose me if you try to expose me without my permission, which is exposing, I can't sue you. Just remember that. All my stuff for OnlyFans is watermarked. Just remember that. Anyway, so I always say nobody is going to expose me for three to ten dollars. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're going to see anything that's worth exposing and for me to feel the type of way that you exposed me, you're going to be paying money. And by the time you pay that amount of money, you're not going to want to expose me. You feel me? And they have to be sued for more money. <laughs> you feel me? But I just say keep it kind of not PG-13, but definitely not X-rated. You feel me? Because then they're not going to want to buy no messages. Because they see everything on your timeline for either for free if your page is free or for that free to however much your subscription price is. If your subscription price is more expensive and you really don't care, then post it on your TL. That's, you know, between you and yourself. But in my opinion, I definitely do not post any, um, like, crazy content on my TL. It's mainly, like, teasers, traps, stuff like that. Because, again, you're paying between 3 to $10 to get on my page to begin with. So, you're just getting, you know, 3 to $10 worth of content. But DM me up there and I have more content. It's just that I'm not putting it on my page for $13. So I recommend that you do the same as well. So next, number five. This is a big one. And this took me a minute. But once like I let that sit in, I've been consistently making, you know, like like good money on OnlyFans. Not saying that I make, you know, top dollar like so many people do. But I make enough to sustain my living, to, to live with them. I mean, I make enough money. You have to have big in. and you have to say mm, the naysayers like forget about them when you're doing stuff for yourself you can't think of what other people are saying because guess what they're not going to pay no bills they're not going to help you find a way to make money the way that they want you to make money like 
they're not gonna do none of that you can't think of other people when it comes to what you're going to do with your life okay because at the end of the day when you have to lay down and you have to deal with them problems guess who not laying beside you them people who are turning their nose up at you because of what you want to do forget them okay get your skin thick i had to do that it took me a little while but once you get your skin thick and you don't care what people got to say do what you want to do also with that being said though don't let people peer pressure you to doing more for money because like i said in the, the day you gotta lay down with yourself you gotta lay down and if you, are you okay with selling certain type of content just because you needed that money when in reality you would have never done that to begin with then don't do it really have a talk with yourself every time you make content and you're about to sell it talk to yourself figure out if if that's really the road that you want to go down but don't let it be because oh my family they're gonna look at me different my friends not my friends after that guess what those friendships and the relationships are not gonna pay your bills when them lights cut off when your car went on the gas nope <laughs> they're not gonna be the ones to help you i'm sorry some of them might might but do it for yourself don't think about nobody else Ned, number seven don't jump into this thinking that it's quick money there's a lot of um things like i said i work nightlife so it's a lot of jobs that you can do in this industry that you get paid like instantly only fans is not one when you do only fans and you get paid like let's say you get paid on monday they buy your content monday they buy the content you're not going to see that money until that following monday they're going to put it into your account that following monday so it's going to take seven days the following monday is going to be in your account then you have to wait an additional three more days depending on your bank three to five days for that money to get deposited into your bank like i i don't have first citizens so usually it takes one to two days for the money to get in there they school the weekends and holidays but you do not get that money instantly like literally minimum you're going to be waiting eight to maybe 10 11 days to get that money so do not do only fans hoping that oh i need to make this money right now because guess what you can make it right now but you're not going to touch it right now so just remember that if you need money like now now only fans is not the place it's not the place for you i would recommend maybe doing like snapchat getting a private snap i do that as well so add me on snapchat if you want to get to my private snap it's 15 dollars, but it's kind of like only fans but it's not you can't keep the content forever you see it for 24 hours and then you move on about your day but you do get to see you know what i do on only fans if you don't want to go to my only fans so if you need the money now i recommend doing a private snap and just charging people to see the content that you will put on your only fans so that's the thing and now we are on the last thing which is number eight and it is rome was not built in a day rome was not built in a week okay i did like on my video on, on only fans what i made in a week i did make over a thousand dollars in a week you know that did happen for me it's not going to happen for everybody some people get on only fans and make a million in a day that's not going to happen for people some people get on only fans and make 10k in a month that's not going to happen for everybody you have to go at your own pace you have to figure out what works for you and what you're comfortable with doing how often you want to post how often you want to sell content how often you want to do things to get you a schedule and then once you get set and you get comfortable then you will start to see what you want to see but you have to get there do not i have so many people that get be in my dms like oh i made my only fans last week and i only made a hundred dollars baby that's a hundred dollars that you did not have that you barely had to do anything for to be honest the first seven days of june i've made four hundred dollars to some people that's nothing to a lot of people that's like whoa but for me that's like okay that's good like if i was working the last job that i had i was making not even really 200 dollars a week i done doubled that so like you just have to move at your own pace be appreciative of where you're starting so that you can appreciate where you go just remember that again rome was not built in a day so those are eight things that i wish i knew before starting OnlyFans. which some of these like i said i already knew but i'm gonna more of say these are eight things that you should know before starting the only so if you guys enjoyed this video, I was going to go into like how much money I made overall, but I think I'm going to do a video and just do a, which I haven't seen nobody do yet, but I did OnlyFans for a year and this is how much money that I made because again, I skipped, I didn't get to make six months. A year would be actually the end of July. So make sure you guys stay tuned. If you would like to see that video, comment down below. If you would like to know anything else, comment down below and you guys know I always reply. I like to talk to you guys down below in the video. Stay tuned for my next video again, my training haul. So hopefully I will see you guys in that video. 
This is Sin signing off. I love you guys. Good luck to everyone who wants to start OnlyFans. I hope you make a big bag. Period. But love you guys. Sin signing off. Peace.